Hello, fellow YouTubers, you know, fellow um, mini potty, Sheen, you know, gurus, and those who are starting your stuff, and also my class too. I greet you all. Um, this moment, I want to teach you how you'll be able to use your Alipay or how you'll be able to pay your suppliers right from your home country. So, um, it might be that you'll be in um, Togo. Nigeria, um, Benin, or Ghana. Mm, right now I'm in Ghana, so specifically I'll be talking more of, you know, main mid mentioning of the country Ghana. Now, you see, um, the challenge with Alipay when you are using it to pay um, suppliers outside is that with Alipay, for you to be able to fund the account directly, you will need to have a bank account in China. And that one is not easy to come by. It's not easy to get convince someone in China because the way system uh, China has um, strategized their system or have made their system is very difficult for someone to just manipulate things and just create an account. So it, that one is very difficult. So if you're having a shipping agent or a procuring agent that does your buying for you, um, is either the person has a friend over there who has an account and the person has been able to create an Alipay account for the person and the person using it. But it is possible for you to also use an account uh, Alipay to pay your suppliers as an international you know, person. Now, as time went on, Alipay got to find out that a lot of people, um, foreigners come to China, they just spend some three weeks or uh, three months you know, over there and they, they, they need not to have an account over there for them to be able to you know purchase things so they developed a, a system or a, a software an inbuilt software in their alipay uh, app so that it will enable you know foreigners to be able to pay suppliers when it whenever they use or purchase you know um, um things in china so that's what we have found so you as a, a, a mini importer you can also purchase things from any um system chinese you know e-commerce platform and pay them right from your home country and that is what i'm going to teach out teach you about now um for you to be able to pay using the alipay as i said you need what your um a, a bank account in china and you also need your your accounts verified by china using the facial verification on that that we will we'll do it we will do it later to even teach you how you got to do it how to verify your account so you see when you come to me and you try let's say um membership now let's go to bank cards trying to connect your bank cards to your bank account they will ask you a lot of things that you should verify your account you should call you know and all these things means that you have to um have a bank card that is connected to what a, a, a chinese bank bank but that one as i said is not that easy to get you need, also need your pass your passport your international passport for you to be able to do those things so it's, it's very difficult for you to do that but if the procedure that i'm about to teach you uh, is quite very easy for you to even have um, the ability to pay your suppliers right from ghana so we go to our home and you on our home you see um just under the scan you see top pass you hit you see health code um you see anti-forest and then my mini pr and so on now the embedded software that we use is what we call the top pass this one this top pass it is what we the international for people or foreigners who want to pay or buy something on uh, in china uses to pay their suppliers outside now this app so has um a limitation you you cannot you, when you fund it when you fund it and you are able to reach your limit um you you can't do anything unless after three months so i think the electric is a bit slow so um let's be patient a bit whilst we are watching this so this is a new alipay account that i created for the benefits of this tutorial i'm not going to go much into putting on this my passport number 
and also um, my visa data because these are confidential and they are very detailed and this is, so if you are doing it you have to also be confidential now this is you can see bank of china bank of shanghai amount cny 0, 0.00 so this this is the card that they give to you so a card an e-payment card that you'll be using anytime you make a purchase or buy on 1688 or Taobao or any other um, Chinese e-commerce platform that you know of. Now, um, right now the account has not been connected. I have not created the account yet. So I'm about to create the account. So if you open it, if you tap on the top as, let's try and read something over here for us to um, be abreast with the things and the, the norms and uh, the don'ts, the do's and the don'ts of what uh, the top pass. So now you can see this is that what is your top pass? Your top pass is a um, where I'm reading. This is where I'm reading. This is where I'm reading. Those of you, this is where I'm reading. I say that your top pass is a service jointly provided by the Bank of Shanghai and Alipay and operated by Alipay. It allows overseas Alipay users to pay with Alipay in Chinese mainland using a non Chinese credit or debit card. Simply find the top pass mini app in your Alipay app. By searching, submit the uh, information needed to apply and it will be ready for use after a successful top up. You see? So, this is what we use. So, as an international person, as a foreigner, you were able to use this one by through your, your local bank account. You get it? So, if you have a local bank, it can be GCB, it can be um, Echo Bank, it can be Access, it can be GN Bank. Hey. GN bank does it does it no <laughs> GT bank okay so um you can have use those things connected to this particular Alipay card and you use it to pay your supplies now let's see the limitation it says that top up limitation currently you can top up as much as ten thousand CNY in to in top us once you reach this limit you cannot top up if you want to top up more you can reactivate after top pass what expires so top pass as i said the expiring date is for three months after you have created it so after you have created it you can only top up as much as what ten thousand what cny ten thousand chinese one yuan so that is the amount of money you can what you can top up so you see when anytime you want to pay your supplier then you top up Anytime you pay, you want to pay your supplier, then you top up because you don't know. You don't just put your the money over there because when the amount, uh, when the number of days gets expired, you you don't get your money back. You get it. Uh -huh. So try as much as possible that anytime you want to pay your supplier, then what you top it up. So now let's go to um, how to fund it. How you be able to connect this to your bank account over here? Now you see this um, icon says what use now. So this is where you tap, you tap on use now, you tap on use now, then we will start what the activation processes, you start the activation process. So you see that verify info, your, you select the amount, then you, you make payment. Now first, before you verify, you start with your nationality. And I'm in Ghana, so I'm going to choose Ghana. If you are in Afghanistan, you got to choose Afghanistan. If you are in Algeria, you got to choose Algeria. If you are in Andorra, Angola, you got to choose all those. Then if you are in Antarctica, you know, the country that you are in, your home country, you have to choose. So we are in Ghana, so let's search for Ghana. Ghana, 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 Ghana. Okay, so there we have it, Ghana over here. So the moment you choose Ghana, now you see the reason. Some there are some videos that says that you can use your national ID card to verify it. Now the disadvantage between this is that it's not all the national ID cards that have the same limit of numbers. Some national ID cards have more than nine. Some have more than ten. Some have less than nine. Now, if you are not able to meet the same, you know, number as compared to the one that the Chinese have, we have to, because the Chinese, you can, when you are in China, you have a national ID card, you can use that one to verify the instead of the national passport. The same applies to if I'm in Nigeria. I think Nigeria also have the national ID, the limits being the same as what um, um, 
the Chinese own or the being the same as the 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 this thing, the passport number, the limit. So you can use national ID if you're in Nigeria. Do you get it? But if you're in Ghana, if you use your national ID, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. So definitely, you have to put in your uh, international passport. So you get your international passport. You put in all the details. So your passport number. So I cho- after choosing the country, you put in your passport number. You say that please enter. Sorry, please enter the correct passport number. So when you put in the passport number, then you put in your the name, the exact name. Please enter the exact name as shown on your what your passport. So you put in that name over there. Let me try and see how the number of numbers that they talk about. So it says two four six eight nine so you see so if you are your passport number uh, your national id is more than nine that means that you cannot be locked in you get it so you put in the expiry date you put in your date of birth your gender your occupation your residential address then the passport info that means you got to take a picture so please say please take the photo of your passport for security and normal use of service please make sure the photos are clear and what correct so here you have to put it down your passport picture make the picture very visible and you you take a screenshot you take no you take a picture of it now when you take a picture of it it will load when it loads and it tells you that it doesn't um, the, the information doesn't fit you keep on trying you keep on trying till it's what it fits with all the information that you have so simply after doing this one it will take you to another place it will take you to another place where you have to what um connect the information on your visa card so you put in your visa um card or your mastercard number then you put in the cv is it cv something um the um code at the back of it that three digit code at the back of your vest thing you put it over there then you connect it with what your visa your um card so after connecting everything the procedures will be done then you start to make what payment do you understand you start to make payment so after doing this one you see a place called top up so you top up then you mention you you type in the number of this thing that you want to uh, find the card with then after doing that you are true to go so when you have the money in here and you want to pay your supplier when when we are using 1688 after processing everything putting your address over there so okay we will get you another video on how to pay your suppliers on 1688 and if you want to pay your suppliers on um from here directly then you will have to get um uh, what do you call the the, the 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 scan code of the supplier then you you scan it so there'll be another video i didn't want to make this video that long i just wanted to take you through the process of what connecting your bank your home bank account your visa card to top us so that it will enable you to pay your suppliers in china now in doing this thing if you face any challenge as I've always been doing, and yes, indeed, I applaud you guys. When you face any challenge, you contact me and you hit me on WhatsApp. Some of you calls me, and I'll be able to, you know, help you out. That's how you do. That's how we enable or give impact or value to each other. So let's help each other as we always been doing. Subscribe to our channel subscribe, like it, and hit the notification button so that anytime we send a video, you'll be able to, uh, to get it. Thank you so much and I love you guys. I love you guys so much and I'm ready to give you any knowledge that I have for you to make this mini importation business that you are doing very successful. Thank you and see you another day.